We have the talented young people from the Junior Achievement Organization right here in the studio exhibiting their products, their ideas, and their passion for building businesses. Now we have two outstanding young entrepreneurs here. We have Anne and Christian. Half a day. Half a day. Okay. Now you guys are really, really excited, and I know Christian, you've actually uh, got the sports app that you guys were working on. So first of all, tell me about your company, and then we'll talk about your product. Uh, our company. Mm -hmm. Well, Junior Achievement is an after-school program that seeks to develop entrepreneurial skills for students around Island and we bring together high school students from both private and public schools and for a five month period we actually meet together to create a product mm -hmm. and CJ can describe to us what our sports app which is our main product is. So our main product is a sports events app which lets others know um, schedules and lessons around the island of different sports. If it has anything to do with local sports I'm all in. Yes. <laughs> Take my money please. <laughs> okay well what are, what are some of the features and what, is, what does it do? So we have a calendar for all set events that uh, we do our own research on each sport and we have all sports on island so all are included and then if they don't have events coming up we have um, a lessons uh, chart which gives lessons of their location and their contact numbers and everything like that. Oh very cool so what, is, what are some of the uh, examples of some of the lessons? So lessons like um, acrobatics or, or mm -hmm. Is that called taekwondo or those stuff like that don't really have events coming up they have places to go there for lessons oh very nice yes. so is this geared specifically towards people like in your generation like young people or can anybody on guam use this it can anybody. be for anybody outstanding that's a lot of customers yeah. mm -hmm. yes. okay yeah. now I, I know you're using an iphone right now uh, and is that a prototype or is that the finished product this is the finished product all oh, right have, you, you, got, have yeah. you got it for ios as well as android yes but nicely done mm -hmm. and you guys have been only working on this since uh, September right yes yes that is that is speedy development my friend mm -hmm. good you. job that's that's some really solid computer science there mm -hmm. okay now and you're holding a very curious product I'm mm -hmm. dying to know what that is our second product that complements our sports app is actually named Piwo and it's supposed to sound like pillow and it is made of recycled uniforms that we gathered from all around islands so we have uniforms from every school on the island um, that are only middle school and high school but we're planning to expand some time if it's possible to elementary schools also and it is a dual bag and pillow so we created the products by hand and if you open it possibly you could take out the pillow mesh and you could actually use it as a bag. Oh very cool so you could use this as a pillow like on your couch when you're lounging at home. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very, very And nice. we came up with this idea because um, for sports events, bleachers are actually quite hard to sit on. So yep. you could actually put it and you could actually sit on it for comfort. Okay. You ask anybody like young or old, how many times their feet have fallen asleep or, you know, their, mm -hmm. their butts go numb just from yes. watching a three hour game. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. not an enjoyable experience. Mm -hmm. Oh man. How much are you guys planning on selling this for? We're planning to sell it for only $7. Wow. Yes. Okay. So. Now that we know the products and everything, let's talk about the development process. Again, you guys have been working on this since September. How did you come up with the ideas for this and like what was your thought process in putting it together? Well, originally everyone was supposed to contribute an idea and we actually had to go through a list of ideas. But um, one thing that really everyone had on, in mind was that we all joined some type of sport. So we came to consensus that everyone wanted to do something related to sports and we were looking through apps and we were deciding whether we should do a game because we were talking about Pokemon Go and how popular it was. Yes. But someone then was. mentioned <laughs> Yeah. Past someone tense. then mentioned that it wasn't um, we never had a sports app that really featured all sports on island because everyone knows about basketball and volleyball and you know rugby, but who knows about game. fencing, who knows about cycling or dragon boat racing. And that's why we came up with our sports app. Oh, very cool. So, Christian, do you guys see um, your collaborative effort? Were you guys maybe coming up with a completely original idea that you said, hey, there's an untapped market that we can possibly serve? Or did you guys see this as an existing problem? And you say, hey, we have an idea and we have a way that we can solve this. Yes, because um, different apps and different websites, they have just the mainstream sports that everyone just, like, normally plays. But what about the other, the other sports that um, normally don't get the media uh, out there? Mm -hmm. Very cool. And, and of course, because you know, we know a thing or two about app development here, the big value of your app is how you grow it going forward and everything like that. So in oh, terms yes. of your roadmap, what are you looking at maybe six months from now, a year from now in terms of like new features or you know, um, new ways to improve the app? Oh, um, we're still in development, but right now we're just f featuring sports, just mainly sports right now. And then we want to branch out maybe to more events like 
concerts and yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. well you, you're never short on events here on Guam mm -hmm. and if you, we've always got fiestas there's fundraisers Guam. all over the place yeah, yeah. you're actually probably going to be uh, have a lot more work to actually enter all that stuff in your yes. database mm -hmm. and get it all set yeah. up okay very cool so um, because the holiday season is now upon us today mm -hmm. is of course Black Friday yeah. Yeah. Um, and people are watching this right now they're like sign me up for 10 I would mm -hmm. like some and everything like that where can people find these um, today from 12 to 5 we are actually selling at Tanga Theatres but you can easily pre-order some from us and you can pick it up at Take Care Center or the Central Lanes Bowling Center and we take pre-orders. You could also select the school that you want and depending on our availability we could also give it to you. Oh nice. So sometimes for example if you're from GW and we have members from GW we will ask them to deliver it to you. Oh very cool. And now I see the, uh, the logo you've got there that's uh, Benevente Middle School over yes. in Denny. Yeah so this is, this is a mm -hmm. neat way now, I went to Sanchez, and of course, mm -hmm. you know, like we take a lot of pride in our school colors and our mascot mm -hmm. and everything yes. like that because there's nothing better than the shark. Mm -hmm. But every once in a while, we'd be like, hey, JFK's got really, really mm -hmm. cool school colors, or, you know, yes. um, Ocean View's got mm -hmm. a really cool mascot and everything. This is a great way to appreciate, you know, mm -hmm. your fellow students. And we actually have POs from the north and the south and central Guam. So we have it from all throughout Guam. And, um, like, the ropes are all different colors, so you could also select. Some people have actually come to us and said, We've already graduated, but this is sort of like a school memorabilia that you could use. Yes. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, where can people contact you if they'd like to pre-order some? We have Facebook, Twitter, and social media. You can find us at Goko Guam, and we also have Goko Guam at gmail.com. That is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to pick some of those up because I know a lot of people that would really appreciate those. Okay, mm -hmm. Christian, because your app is available on both the major mobile platforms, yes. um, are they in the app stores right now? Yes, they're available in the app store. Okay, okay. How, do, how do we search for them? Where can we find them? Uh, you can find them if you type in Goko, G-O-K-O. G-O-K-O. Yes. All right, so uh, what is it meant to both of you as entrepreneurs and you know, having these projects now behind you and everything like that, you've got these on your resume. What have you learned from this and how have you grown? Um, when we first started, it was actually quite hard. We only have 11 members and the usual JA company or in past years actually had up to 30. So we did go through a lot of obstacles to come where we are today. And it's been really difficult because um, everyone, you know, that's part of the reason why we came with the sports thing is everyone's always have sports practices. And um, we really learn how to like lead a team and how to manage your resources properly because we did have a lot of, lot of trial and error while we're trying to make this. All right. All right. Well, thanks so much and congratulations, guys. I'm going to go download your app and I'm going to go put in some pre-orders from my PWO. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So congratulations. Thank you. Please stay tuned.